Hey everybody and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Rival here Resurrection continues and uh made some moves. It's a couple of, just, just just a couple just a couple of moves. Okay, so um Steel Rainfleet is being built. Mm, it's gonna take some doing though, because we need a lot of RP to do it, because well you can deploy your fleet into battles, but it's the strength of this fleet is all the ships together. And that's where its strength comes from. And right now, it does not have one. Um, so we're kind of throwing it together as best we can. Uh, we do have another officer already picked up. They are rank three. Um, so they're kind of on their way to getting the big guns and everything. Uh, to that end, we currently have a Yanis cruiser being designed. Uh, another Heracles. Uh, a Jupiter 2 and a Jupiter 1. It's going to take a while to get those ships though because, you know, turns. In the meantime, our three main fleets are still kicking butt. Although there was one mission. I did it in between uh, videos. Uh, fleet 8. Which is kind of our go-to fleet for just general combat. Um, they were tasked with uh, rescuing a... An adamant, I want to say. Anyway, um, pretty much like you know, getting the ship, we get the ship. It's great. Where the ship was on the map was like basically they could kind of throw a beer can out the window and it would hit the enemy fleet if they were that close. So we ended up having to put our fleet right in between them, and because we had to go aggressive to get the kills as quickly as possible. They kept on getting underneath us, and we almost lost an Atlas. <laughs> One health left. I really wish I'd have managed to get that on, on video, but I didn't, because I didn't know it was going to happen, and it was just terrifying. But we have a colony of defense. The has spotted a Cylon fleet supporting the toasters. 2,700. We're going to get that one done. We're then going to get mission five done. And then we're probably going to do a, a, a couple of videos where we do some side quests. Because we need Thailand, we need RP, and we need experience for our officers. Um, and we are cruising through this right now, and we really don't want to do that. Later missions, you're going to get your butt kicked if you don't have at least a few fleets that are already maxed out. And I mean 8k fleets, a couple of different designs, things like that. You're going to need them. Uh, Blackwood fleet, should we send you in for this one? Yeah, let's send you in for this one. You, you, you could use a bit of a... of fun let's do this okay so yeah so we've kind of pushed through quite happily early on nothing really has kind of tested us in those early missions you, you've watched them you know that but we need to get into some some good builds and the simple fact is we don't know when we're going to start hitting some of those harder missions I'm going to set up all the way over here. We don't have to defend anything or anything like that. So I'm going to literally set up all the way over here. We're going to allow our Vipers to do all the nastiness. If we can take out their... Their fighters fairly quickly... <clears throat> we'll be able to use the torpedoes to hit some of those ships way before they get to us and I want to put a bit more space in there there we go and then go from there they're small ships probably so torpedoes might not be the best option it's a very small fleet, fleet group is so jumping in three, could two, be one. Ceres. Masses of Ceres. In that case, I'll pull the right, uh, the right uh, Vipers back. We'll get them repaired, and we'll just pound Hostile them with the big guns. The zone. Cylon IFFs across the board. Why not? We have the option. All right, let's immediately... They are way low on us, so we're going to need this time to get low. Yes, sir. 
Uh, you, I want you to get yourself behind this, uh, this Jupiter group over here. Alright, uh, other than that, we're going to launch everything. Not going to adjust our posture. We're just going to try and get low as attack. fast as possible. Weapons free and by the numbers, folks. Time to make a bunch of mama toasters cry. They're moving very fast. I think you're all Sarists. We're dropping fairly quickly, but we're not dropping fast enough. Which means we're going to be relying on the Vipers Watch your intervals, people. to slow them down. I'll tell you what we'll do. Yes, Commander. We're going to turn back on ourselves. Ooh, Nemesis. Can you guys... Yeah, we're going to go for a, a hard turn. Black right side. They look like torpedoes, so we might be able to dodge them. Missiles incoming. Hostile unit identified. Get that black wall up. I need black reloads. Lots of nemesis now. did not see that coming. Vipers. Get on it. Firm squadron target. This has definitely helped us though. We are much lower now. And they don't seem to be, uh... Alert squadrons to keep 33 by 70 clear for flag projection. It is. It's all nemesis. Mark's incoming on priority one. Vipers are kicking butt, man. This totally reminds me of, like, early... Uh, when yes, when this game first came out, they just had to adjust the AI, and pretty much the reason the Ceres was actually invented for the game is because there was a way you could actually like, just kite Cylons. You could have a base star fleet and things like that, and you could take it with um, basically adamants when they were the only medium ship you had. You just kind of have your two flights, there's two pancakes of adamants and sort of kiting around, and you'd use your vipers, which was so OP early, early in the history of this game. Um, use the vipers to take out the missiles, take out the enemy raiders, and then just kite the enemy around the map, and just keep reassigning the vipers so you'd assign them to take out this load of missiles that are coming at you and then send them back and just wipe the floor with so many different fleets of Cylons. It was very fun and very, very... If you want to see it, go back and watch one of my like early uh, playthroughs of the game. Well, I'm talking go right to the beginning and you will just see some of the fleets you can take out. We're like, yeah, you shouldn't be able to do that. It took ages. It was so, so done. Have come back yeah, we've just got nothing but Nemesis. Oh my god. I didn't think they'd be sending another fleet like this. Honestly. But yeah, they have. So... Yay. <laughs> Ain't it. Make it easy for them. You know what? Use your missiles on that. Missile tubes we may as well.
That's the next one down. This is so freaking wrong. This fleet is a little overpowered for this. <laughs> That's gotta be a record. Board is clear. All <laughs> hostile marks are dark. <laughs> Gave 400 XP for that. And when we needed it, we did. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, so we've got this you. This is pretty grim. One particular Cylon fleet has been hunting civilian transport suspected of helping the Ministry resistance. Interesting. Each time they take out a ship, they also steal the crew manifest. It means family on the ground can't get recognition for the death of their relative. All attempts at hunting these frackers have failed, which is why they're calling us in. We'll get some Marines on board to take back those records, and then do what we always do. Mm -hmm. 1,800 Tylium, 700 requisition. Silent threat will decrease by 30. Yeah, we're going to do that. That mission's getting done. Uh, right, let's have a look here, see what we've got. Tax offset. The corporation that owns this facility has evaded millions of cubits intact. Local colony scouts have picked up a distress beacon from a stranded fuel freighter. Mm -hmm. There's no sign of its escort or the... No, oh, I'm just not... You, know, you got missions like that, I'm just like, nah, but I need to do them. Hmm. <laughs> but I'm sitting here thinking, okay, so we had that quick mission. We have no idea what this mission is going to be like. Take it with a grain of salt, kid. Need to wrap the scorcher in. practice around on Daedalus, too. Okay. We need a raptor. We need Galacticus. So we're going to have to take the SG-65 for that. Okay. Uh, you need some combat, but I, I want to wait until we've got another Heracles in there at least. There's just not enough firepower there. Especially with no Vipers. So, yeah. Need to build that fleet up a little bit before we can do anything with it. Um... Hmm... Local colony scouts have picked up 5,100. The corporation that owns this facility has evaded millions of cubits. Mm, we need the RP, the officers. We need the Tylium so we can continue building ships. And I have a lot of ships to build. I really do. Yannis in one turn. We've got another Heracles in two turns. And then we're starting with the next battle star build up. I'm I'm building a fleet which is basically a Jupiter two, a Jupiter uh, two Jupiter ones, and I think I can get away with an Atlas. And the reason I'm doing this is to basically uh, I want to build. basically a, a Battlestar line with the Atlas kind of behind uh, because it gives us a, a broader line and we know that a, a Jupiter or a Jupiter 2 can handle itself and it makes it more difficult for the Silence which have started to kind of go around the outside with the faster ships and kind of hit the flanks which is good tactics I'm not going to complain but that allows us to kind of mitigate that a little bit um and it still gives us eight squadrons of vipers gives us four assault raptors and something else with that second jupiter 2 slot so we've got some options open to us and i haven't really done it before not in a i've done it in a i can build stuff way but not in a why would I build that? Which is kind of what I'm asking you guys. You know, you give me fleets, but give me a reason for that fleet. Because in this stage of the game, you can build fewer fleets. Obviously, you need to build lots in base game. In this stage, you can build fewer fleets, but have them specialize for certain fights, and then use the intel you get from 
your intel kind of runs to which fleet should I assign. If we do one of those, we're probably going to get ourselves into a jam. So I'll tell you what, we are going to do one of those. Um, Blackwood, you did the last fight. Let's do you. Rescue service. Um, and we'll ha we'll have this video, assuming this mission takes as long as I think it's going to take, we'll have this video being the two side missions, then we'll next video we'll get on to mission five. Was intending to do mission five today, but nah. We don't know what's going to happen, do we? No, we don't. We could wipe the floor with them, in which case you're getting an hour-long video. Or it could be a little bit more of a knockdown drag out, in which case you still get your video, but you just have to wait till next time for the next part. I'm sure you'll be all right with that, won't you? All right. Not the biggest fleets. Six ships. Um, nine to Oh, I know. This is the fleet that took a bit of a pounding. They set up there. <laughs> it was just not funny. Not funny at all. Okay. I'm laughing. It really wasn't a funny thing. Right, let's... I'm going to set up pretty much the same way as the last mission. And I'm going to make them come to me. We're going to drop down as quickly as we can. Okay, everything good. Everything looks good. Let's roll. Okay, looking for any big ships we can fire those two po uh, torpedoes at. So we're looking for slow moving to targets. Jump in three, two, one. You sometimes can take them out. They do have a lot of armor and stuff. But if you can, like, do Greatest some damage contact. to that one front friendly, armor, multiple hostiles. No you're just going to have no one else around. for us. <laughs> Whoever put their bet on bad jump calcs wins the pot. All right, you just yes, sir. run to the fleet. Yeah, you're going to have to wait a turn before you can actually get past... Um, launch everything. Yes, sir. And we'll send a unit of Vipers to protect this in case they fire any missiles or anything. Set condition one throughout the ship. Trade is marked as attack. Trade is marked as attack. They got a fast mover coming out to the side. Inside. You seem to be slow. Right. All Vipers break and attack. Yes, sir. With the exception of five, I want you to defend that. So if I look at that, yeah, you're going to defend as well. Okay, that's just to get them back a bit closer. Uh, let's go aggressive on that. Yes, Commander. For one turn. Buy munitions at that target. It seems to be the slowest movers of the lot. So. Yes, sir. Let's go. Escort clearance zone is active. Got a slow mover back there as well. I hope you haven't got like three Cerberus. Because I will be so upset if you do. You're flying right into my black field. Why are you doing that? Alright. Um, we'll go to that. I'm on it, Commander. Yes, Commander. I'm on it, Commander. Alright, that'll get you behind them at least. One, select targets. Let's go after you. Two, select targets. Go after 
you three select target we'll stick them we'll double them up confirmed squadron target Escort clearance zone intact. Priority Ooh, one is in safety. They are launching. Squadron is taking fire. That's a Cerist. We got a couple of Cerists on the flank. That's not great. One. Do you have traders yet? No. Three. You're miles back. What the hell happened to you? Um. Three. Select, go for that. Confirmed squadron target. Four, you're on to that. Two, so we're going to leave you doing it. Assault Raptors miles back. Yeah, they're all way back there. I don't know what's going on with that. Doesn't look like they're coming after the freighter, so I'm going to break five off and we're going to actually have it go and help with something. I think we've got two Ceres on our flank, and that's not a good thing to have. Confirmed squadron target. Um, what can you guys see? Not much. I'm going to keep you dropping, actually. Go. One shot. Just give me one good shot. Unit, Take it down. Take it down. Yeah, we got Saris. Saris on the flank. All right. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to we're gonna go aggressive. I'm Come gonna on, drop. Commander. I'm gonna focus fire on you. So say we all. You keep bouncing up and down. Select targets. Got it. Three is having a bad day of it right now. And so is one. you no you've not got anything okay that should help deal with those issues right now enter Bogey in my kill slot. I'm hit I'm hit I'm hit <laughs> gonna take more than gotta that. be base stars Optimize. missiles incoming damn one is getting his butt handed to it select target Select target for no, we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to go over there and deal with that. Five, deal with that. One recall. On it, recall. Yes, commander. Recall. Go. Target is four five by nine nine. Switching guns to manual. Yes, sir. We got a base star. Okay, let's ignore the base stars. They can't hurt us really from range. Unless I turn off my... Um... My flag, so... Yes, sir. Let's have you guys... Go deal with that.
go. Missiles incoming. Set secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire at will. Nice. Friendly squadron is dark. Knew we'd lose them. I'm on it, Commander. It's not ideal, but I knew it was going to happen. I got three base stars in this group, then. I have three base stars in this group. Um, okay, so you're going to land, so. I'm going to just actually select everything um, and you recall. Missile tubes prepped. Let's keep you away from the fleet just for a bit. I'm not entirely sure if you're going to hit, but you should. You should go underneath those rocks. this fleet which is kind of annoying uh select top. no forget that go after the phobos yeah they're just focusing this side of the fleet that's annoying But it's also a damn good tactic. So say we all. Uh, one more turn and then we can hit that. But if I can get rid of this Phobos, it's going to make things a little bit easier. There go the missiles. Missiles incoming. I need flak reload. But out of range, so they blow up. That's annoying, but no problems really. Okay, uh, cancel the flak. Fire your torpedoes. Salvo launch. We're gonna take a, a hit from a missile, but I can live with it. That's got to be another base star. Use you out there now. Yep, 
Yes, sir. Missiles incoming. Alert squadron to keep 36 by 80. Free for flash rejection. Alright. Cancel flight fire torpedoes. Fire everything, paint the target as well. I'm on it, Commander. And we're going to flak there because they're going to shoot at him again. Other than that, I think we just keep rolling. He's still got missiles and torpedoes left. There is a PCM sat around there, which is kind of annoying, but that's beside the point. you down, buddy. You're going... You've got one more turn. Awesome. Firing torpedoes. I'll see a flag. Yeah, PCM took some of them out. Annoying, but... launched another PCM. Well, that's just freaking rude. I'm not going to do anything, though. We're just going to keep doing this. We're already targeted. We're in a position where it's only one base star left. He's almost dead. So the Vipers should be able to get him this turn. Prepare base for catch. There'll be Mark 1 eyeball any moment. There you go. Hostiles are down. Fuel freighter is almost ready to jump. I'm sure whoever is waiting for them won't have strayed too far. You. Okay, so that's good. Thousand XP. Okay, so decision time. Do I go for a? You know what? I think I'm going to hold off. I think I'm going to hold off. We'll get to mission five beginning of the next video otherwise we're looking at an hour story missions are normally about half an hour we're looking at an hour then and that's just that's a bit of a big bit of a big chunk of time so that's where we'll call it for today uh next time we'll get mission five done and then we're gonna have to do some side missions we need the tiling we need the rp and hopefully we should start putting steel fleet uh steel rain together again That'll be nice. I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, that'll be for next time. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like me so, please do consider subscribing. Until then, good luck. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.